A grassland ecosystem is characterized by mixed non-woody vegetation cover and is dominated by grass or grass-like plants. The ecosystem is normally found in areas that are too dry for forest but have enough soil water to support closed herbaceous plant canopy, which cannot be found in deserts. Grasslands occur mainly on plains or rolling topography in the interiors of expansive landmasses, and from sea level to altitudes of about 16,400 feet in the Andes. These ecosystems are usually inhabited by grazing animals, and can be further subdivided into savannas, found in the tropics, prairies, located in temperate regions, stepped, can occur in both tropic and temperate regions. Grasslands are found where there is not enough regular rainfall to support the growth of a forest, but not so little that a desert forms. In fact, grasslands often lie between forests and deserts. Depending on how they're defined, grasslands account for between 20 and 40 percent of the world's land area. Rainfall can vary across grasslands from season to season and year to year, ranging from 10 to 40 inches annually. Temperatures can go below freezing in temperate grasslands to above 90 degrees. The height of vegetation on grasslands varies with the amount of rainfall. Some grasses might be under a foot tall, while others can grow as high as 7 feet. Their roots can extend 3 to 6 feet into the soil. The combination of underground biomass with moderate rainfall and wash away nutrients tends to make grassland soil very fertile and appealing for agricultural use. Much of the North American prairie lands have been converted into land for crops, posing threats to species that depend on those habitats, as well as drinking water sources for people who live nearby. Grasslands support a variety of species. Vegetation on the African savannas, for example, feeds animals including zebras, wildebeest, gazelles and giraffes. On temperate grasslands you might find prairie dogs, badgers, coyotes, swift foxes and a variety of birds. There can be up to 25 species of large plant eaters in a given habitat compromising a sort of buffet where different grasses appeal to different species. Some grass species in these habitats include red oat grass and Rhodes grass in tropical savannas, and purple needle grass and galata in temperate areas. When rainy season arrives, many grasslands become coated with wildflowers such as yarrow, hyssop and milkweed. The plants on grasslands have adapted to the drought, fires and grazing common to the habitat. Fires both natural and human-caused are important factors shaping grasslands. In the U.S. Midwest for example, Native Americans set fires to help maintain grasslands for game species, such as bison. Fire can also help prevent fire-intolerant trees and shrubs from taking over while increasing the diversity of wildflowers that support pollinators.